Hi there, students. Vicarious. Vicariously. Okay, we use this phrase vicarious to mean to experience something through something else, through somebody else. So maybe if we go to the theatre, we experience the emotions or the feeling or the situation of the actors in the play vicariously. We don't experience it personally, we experience it through somebody else. Um, he was on a lighthouse in the middle of nowhere and he used, he exchanged letters with lots of people to have a vicarious feeling of companionship. Okay, so through something else. Like that, he felt accompanied by reading the letters. Maybe if you look through a catalogue of, uh, I don't know, uh, interiors, for example, you experience vicariously how it might be to live in wonderfully designed and beautifully set out places. You could have a vicarious tour of a museum or a place that you have never visited and never will visit through internet. So you don't experience it directly, you experience it vicariously. So vicarious means to experience something through another medium, particularly through another person. So you see another person experiencing something and you feel or experience the same thing by watching them. We can use vicarious in one or two other ways, but the, the explanation I've given you is the one that you are going to find 95% of the time. You could use vicarious meaning serving instead of somebody else, delegated in somebody else's place. So vicarious authority, the authority was delegated to me by someone else. So maybe a priest vicariously acts for God. Well, that's what they say anyway then you could use vicarious meaning something done or suffered by another person as a substitute. So suffering something or doing something in the place of another person. So maybe you could receive a vicarious punishment. My friend John was going to be punished, but I took the punishment vicariously in his place, in his stead. And then the final one, this one's uh, to do with, I think, medicine. So when a symptom occurs, but in a part of the body where it doesn't normally happen. So if you have a cold, normally you have lots of snot, lots of mucus from your nose. But if the mucus came out of your armpit, then that would be a vicarious symptom, okay? But notice these last three meanings are much more unusual. Vicarious normally is experiencing somebody through, the, through watching or reading or looking at or hearing the experiences, the writing um, of another person, yeah? Indirect. Okay, what about the origin? Vicarious comes from Latin and it means substitute. Okay, so as a substitute in something's place. So vicarious to experience feelings or emotions, but not directly you, through another person's experience. By reading about the uh, the thrills of mountaineering, he vicariously experienced some of what a mountain climber might feel. Okay? Vicarious. 
Um, and notice, this is a pretty formal word, yeah? 7.5 on a, on a formality scale, maybe even 8, yeah? So this is one that you want to use while writing. It's not something for an informal conversation with your friends, okay? So vicarious, experiencing something indirectly through another person, okay? So there we go. Enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Vicarious, vicariously.